Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over a market maker model and uh, we're going to start on a higher time frame, the one hour, and I'm going to show you from higher time frame how to go down into the lower time frame to find your potential market maker model and where you could place your trades. All right, so we are on the one hour chart and what I see, we're right here, right? What I see is a rejection block right here. So let's put that on the chart here. Now we're just going to go candle by candle and see if it trades down into it and we're waiting for a reaction. Okay, it does trade into it. Now when it hits that and trades into it, that's when we drop down to a lower time frame. So for me, I'm going to drop down to the one minute and I'll just move this just a little bit like that. Okay, so now we've tapped into that and, uh, you know, we're just going to play it candle by candle and let's uh, put this one hour rejection block there. Let's go see what we can find here. This is not a silver bullet video, so this is this actually occurs before the silver bullet AM session. So I'm just going to show you. you know. just, okay. Trading more down into that, which is fine. We're waiting for a, a smart money reversal is what we're looking for right now. Because our theory is that this is the sell side of the curve, right? Now we're just looking for, you know, a high to be broken so we can have a smart money reversal and see if we get our low risk buy and then our turtle soup entry for stage one of accumulation, and then our silver bullet entry, the OG silver bullet entry for their stage two of distribution, and then if we hit our terminus. So that's what we're looking for right now. So now we're just keep testing that one hour rejection block. That's all we're doing is we're just testing it. Doesn't want to trade through it. Okay, there you go. All right, so there's our market structure shift. So let's mark off some things here. Short term low here. Let's right here. Smart money reversal. Short term low. Okay. So now we're looking for our, our low risk buy, right? Okay, so now we have a fair value gap right here. And you're going to be watching this area right here. Uh, I'll shrink it up later. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. I am going to buy one contract when we do these, uh, just to show you. I'm not going to buy two. I'm not going to take partials. I'm just going to show you what, uh, how you would have traded it if you could have, would have caught everything. All right. All right, that would have taken out that it would have been our low risk buy. That's what I would have called it right there. Low risk buy. Let's buy one and I'll buy one here. Okay. That confirms the market maker buy model here. Okay, let's continue on. Now we're looking for our, our um, run on sell stops for stage one of accumulation. This low risk buy is more or less our 2022 mentorship model entry. 
So there is a fair value gap right there. So this happens over a couple hours, so it's not just immediate, but we went from the one hour rejection block, saw that it tapped into it right in here, and then we dropped down to our one minute time frame, see if we can see a market maker model forming. All right, do you see it? Here's your turtle soup, your run on stops right there. I'll move this up just a little bit right there. Here's your relatively equal lows. Here's your run on stops. Let's buy another one. Confirms this is the buy side of the curve. There's a short term low right here. Call this an intermediate term low right here and we're going to buy two. Now, where's our terminus, right? So we wanna find out where our terminus is. And so we pull a fib from our manipulation leg, from high to low, and right here at four is our terminus right here. And then you go to two and a half, but it's kind of in the middle of the swing. So between two and a half, four, somewhere between actually two to four is what I'm looking for. I know it's a huge range, but I'm looking for a natural spot. And this right here, is a good spot right here. I'd call that our terminus right there for the market maker model. That's our run on stops. And um, yeah, let's just uh, see what happens here. It's easier to see the whole picture. We're not looking at specific entries or exact entries. You're just trying to look at the whole picture. And you got the sell side of the curve. We came in, hit the one hour rejection block on a higher time frame. We dropped down to the one minute and we came down and we were looking for market maker model to go back up and see if it plays out. And sure enough, it is playing out just the way we think right now. After a smart money reversal, we want to see a low risk buy, which we got. Then we want to see a run on sell stops for our turtle soup, which is our first stage of accumulation, which we got. And then we want to see an intermediate term low. And then we want to see our silver bullet entry, right? On a fair value gap off a, a breaker block, an order block, something like that. That's what we want to see for our silver bullet entry. Okay. All right, so let's just mark some things off here. A short term low right here. Call this swing low and intermediate term low. Can't put it on top of that text, so it's gonna be right there. And then here's a short term low. We have this fair value gap. I'd also call this right here a mitigation block. Low, high higher low breaks through and be a mitigation block. So you can, I'm not gonna mark it because there's just so much stuff right here, but you just know that there's a mitigation block right here. It goes right through just above this fair value gap. So let's keep going here. Now that would have hit it. Okay, that would have hit it. So I'm going to buy there. I actually move this up here to this one. Um, that's the OG silver bullet. Let's actually move this right here. Let's just buy another one. Okay. All right, so there you go. There's our 
came into your mitigation block here fair value gap unicorn entry I'll, I'll put it on here just since you just so you see it all right there as well that's a plus mitigation block let's just let's throw a unicorn on here too let's throw the unicorn on here too let's just put that over here unicorn entry okay let's keep going see how this works out you know, just testing that mitigation block a few times I would ideally would like to see some major moves forward at higher at this point after it's been testing it several times move this over a bit more We're just getting keep getting those rejections so now we're looking for speed and just keep moving take out the terminus here All right, all right, there you go. There, that took us out right there. So all our entries will be taken out right there. And uh, we'll play this a little bit more. There you go. Okay. So let's so we're zoom in just a little bit. Nope. Okay, that's as much as I can get in there, get it all in there. All right, so let's take off the long entry. Let's explain what happened here. We start at the one hour we marked out a one hour rejection block. When price hit that, we dropped down to the one minute time frame to see if we can get a market maker model to go back up, right? So we weren't just saying, hey, we're, we're automatically going up. We need things to play out, right? As price continued to test the one hour rejection block, we finally get a market structure shift. We get our low risk buy, which is our 2022 mentorship model. Then we come up here, we get a run on sell stops and our turtle soup entry. That's the first stage of distribution that confirms we have a market maker model in play, right? So now we look for our silver bullet entry, which is off a breaker block, a mitigation block, a fair value gap. And that's kind of what we get here. We get a unicorn entry right here and we take it to our terminus. How do we figure out where our terminus was? Well, we pulled our standard deviations from our manipulation leg and we saw that the four, negative four, deviation matched up perfectly with our uh, target here now had this been stopped at two and a half that would have been our target two and a half but it was it's four lines up beautifully like, to the tick perfect on our projection and that's where we target it okay so there is your market maker model for friday october 13th